What's up guys, Trader Mike here, bodybuilding.com, corporate headquarters for your Flex Friday workout of the day. And today, we're getting bold with it. We're hitting legs, legs on a Friday, what? Everybody else hitting their beach muscles today, maybe getting the calves, forearms workout on, maybe polishing off some biceps before you head out for the weekend. But us, we're getting down with some legs and you guys should too. So if you haven't picked your workout for this weekend, try this leg workout. This workout is designed to kind of be your all around great leg workout. So if you're looking for that workout that's gonna build some strength, put on some size, and just overall demolish you, this is a great workout for you. So we're gonna start off with nothing but the good old squat, right? Because if we don't squat one, well, all you trolls get on there and say, why didn't you squat, bro? Where's your squats? Well, we're gonna squat for you today. And uh, I like squats, squats are good. We're gonna focus on good controlled squats. We've already got a good warm up in. We've done some foam rolling. We did some active dynamic stretching. We did a few warm up sets, a um, couple things. I do belt up. If I'm six reps or less, I usually wear a belt, probably just for the squats. Um, we got knee wraps on. I like the knee wraps, provide a little more warmth, a little more circulation there. And uh, always gotta have Converse on. Converse, short shorts, kind of a must when it comes to squatting. So. I like the flat sole that the Converse has. Um, some people wear squat shoes. I've never been a squat shoe type person. I just can't justify the 200 bucks to spend on squat shoes, but I like Converse. So we're gonna get down with it. Four sets, six reps. Um, it's been a little while since I've squatted and um, we're still coming off that post-show, post-diet. Strength isn't all the way there. So we're gonna go 315 for four sets of six quality reps. If you guys are looking to find me on social, check. I do most of my stuff on Instagram at Trainer Mike One. That's the number one at Trainer Mike One on Instagram. You guys check me out on Facebook. Check out my athlete page at Trainer Mike Physique on there. And I'm um, happy to have you guys follow along. So here we go. First set of squats, six reps. Nice and slow, nice and low, nice and controlled. Let's go. There it is, something like squats. We wanna give ourselves about 90 seconds of rest in between. A little more um, rest due to the compound nature of the movement. Uh, what is your favorite My favorite branch chain amino acid, currently I do Amino Pro by Dimatize. Do two scoops of that during my workout. We've got uh, Fruit Punch today, is the flavor of choice. And that's gonna give me about 10 grams of branched chain amino acids, some citrulline, some added electrolytes as well. So, super important on leg day to stay hydrated. Does eating egg yolks cause weight gain when you're trying to Does eating egg yolk cause weight gain when bodybuilding? No. Guys, the yolks are like their own multivitamin. You know, there's so many good nutrients that you're gonna get out of egg yolks, but you have to be careful and you have to make sure that it fits into your daily fat content. So I throw in at least one, you know, good cage-free organic whole egg with my egg yolks or with my egg whites. What do you do to warm up for squats? So to warm up for squats, I always foam roll my calves, I foam roll my IT bands, I foam roll my hip flexors. I actually did that earlier this morning. And then I'll usually pick like three to four good active dynamic stretches. Today it was a glute bridge. Um, it was a leg raise, an active leg raise. And we did a, a bunch of world's greatest stretch as well, which I love for before squats. Is creatine for pre and post? Creatine, you're gonna see probably the best benefit post-workout. It's not an acute response like caffeine, so doesn't really matter if it's in your pre-workout, it more so builds the creatine levels in your blood over time. And you're gonna absorb a little more after a workout with carbs. Okay, 
Here we go, second set, six reps. You guys got the good lateral view. Check my form. Here we go. I take a relatively close stance with my feet on squats. Help target the quads a little more. Uh, makes it a little more challenging to get low, to stay upright. But I want to focus a little more on those quads here. Do I prefer training with lightweight, more reps, or heavyweight, lower reps? I like both. I think both are necessary. Um, as I've gotten older, not to say I'm an old man or anything, but I prefer lighter weights for more controlled reps. How do I add mass to my quads? How do you add mass to your quads? Exhibit A, squat. Great way to do it, especially if you're like a beginner or intermediate. You have to have that squat as a staple over time. You can kind of graduate to some other exercises. I love hack squats for quads and goblet squats, which we will do some goblet squats today. Whoo! Tough catching breath on a leg day, and that's good. That's good. What's that? What's on my shaker? We just got a regular old blender bottle today. Nothing fancy. My perfect shaker hero series. Avenger cups are uh, in the wash. So every now and again, you guys know how those shakers get. You gotta give them a good old wash. Good old wash. All right, third set squats. I'm getting down with it. I like the belt to sit pretty tight. I loosen it up in between sets right before I get going. I tighten it up pretty good. Make sure we're getting some good intra-abdominal pressure. Help protect the lower back. Here we go. Come on, baby. Let's build some wheels. Squats, six reps, third set. Let's go. Now with these, we're not trying to go to failure. You know, we got a whole leg day ahead of us. Squats are more about volume, reps times sets times weight. And really, I don't encourage people to push to failure on squats. Not the right exercise for it, especially not your first exercise. So how much cardio do I do when I'm trying to lose weight? about 40 minutes a day. I break it up to 20 first thing in the morning and then 20 post-workout. You know, I'll always keep in my morning cardio. So pretty much every day of the week, 20 minutes first thing in the morning after my aminos. What are the benefits of fish oil? What are the benefits of fish oil? They're numerous. I mean, fish oil should be a staple for everybody at least a thousand milligrams a day of EPA, DHA combo. Um, benefits though, cardiovascular health is a big one. Cholesterol, brain health is a big one. Joint health, you know, I was just having this conversation the other day. If somebody has joint issues, my first recommendation is double up on your fish oil, 2000 milligrams of omega-3 a day. Good question. Woo! Feeling good, guys. You get a lot of muscle involvement in a squat. It's not just your legs you're working. You've got a lot of core, lower back. Uh, do you prefer weight or weight I prefer weight isolate because it's better. 
Whey concentrate is good. Whey isolate is better. Usually it comes down to budget, right? If you, you know, can only afford a whey concentrate, by all means, it's better than nothing. But if the budget permits to spend a few extra bucks on the isolate, go that route. Okay, final set of squats. And then we're gonna move on and do some walking lunges, which uh, I'm definitely not looking forward to at this point. So last set, six reps. Rock and freaking roll, baby, here we go. That last set is where you gotta make sure you get deep. Your body starts being like, ah, I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sell myself a little short on this rep. No, no, not here. Not here. We got the gain train rolling through, baby. Six reps. Up. There it is guys, four sets, six reps. We didn't kill ourselves on the squats because we had a whole leg day ahead of us and ditch the belt. We won't need that again for this workout and catch our breath, move on. Walking lunges, 10 reps down, 10 reps back is how we're gonna do this one. So you don't see as much muscle definition as you should according to your body fat percentage. One, how are you checking your body fat? You know, body fat testing is really a, a guesstimate. And you know, if you're using calipers by somebody that doesn't know what they're doing and they're telling you you're 4% body fat when you're really 12, that can play a role. But two is just overall muscular development. If you have a well-developed muscle, that's gonna look much better at 10% than somebody with a poorly developed musculature. Good question. So you've got an injury, what advice would I give to you? Do your best to, to get that injury healed. Um, the more you try and just force through an injury, the more likely you are to re-injure yourself and cause further issues. Okay, we're gonna put a barbell on our shoulders for these. I'm gonna go 90 pounds, 10 reps down, 10 reps back for walking lunges. I'll alternate, sometimes I'll do dumbbells or even hold kettlebells. Other times I'll put a barbell on the shoulders. 10 reps down, 10 reps back, check the booty gains. Whew. Ten reps back. So lunges, a lot of people make the mistake of taking too big of a step. And you really wanna to get to a point where you're coming down right at that 90 degree angle. So don't take a huge step. It's not gonna be as advantageous as if you take a good step and are able to drop straight down, get a better range of motion that way. Goals for the summer are to not get too fat. A pretty good goals in my opinion. Now I wanna get outside, you know? We, uh, so we're in Boise, Idaho here. It's just gorgeous. A lot of hiking, a lot of biking. Um, my goal is to get a refresh, quite honestly, kind of away from the gym. You know, if you try and force through, just do gym workouts, same bodybuilding hypertrophy style workouts, you get bored and then you get burnt out. So the goal is 
get outside, stay hungry to come inside the gym and do what I want to do here. Knee sleeves, these are rock tape, guys. Five millimeter, I believe. You can find them on bodybuilding.com. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're on clearance. We'll see if we can get a link up for you. Good knee sleeves, I like them. Okay, 10 reps down, 10 reps back, set two. is done right I feel in my glutes about as much as every exercise any other exercise white rice in your post-workout meal absolutely I prefer jasmine just for the taste but uh, yeah absolutely it's a great option cheap too Whew. is it okay to do walking lunges on the treadmill if you want to do body weight lunges, I think that's fine. I wouldn't do weighted lunges on the treadmill. Um, you know, maybe if you're like super limited on space, but I'd prefer to do walking lunges myself. Do you have any thoughts on magnesium as a supplement? Any thoughts on magnesium is great. It's good muscle uh, recovery agent. Um, good for sleep too. Helps like relax you. I prefer just a ZMA at night to get my zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. Every day, I'm taking my, my ZMA. So we do the Z-Force by Dimatize three capsules every night, along with some GABA, glutamine. It's a good combo. All right, here we go. 10 down, 10 back. Beep. You know, I always wear a heart rate monitor while I train and walking lunges. Get the heart rate way up there. You know, I, I typically keep my cardio lower on leg days just because my calorie expenditure is so high on a leg workout. You just don't need it. How do you get rid of love handles? Diet is a big part of it. You know, and a lot of times it's cleaning up that last little bit. You know, maybe you've got, you know, just some couple days a week that you're not tracking calories. Uh, love handles can come down to those two days. Uh, do you have any tips for getting better definition in the quads? Better definition in the quads? Yes. I think it's best to train quads two times per week or legs two times per week. With one day more of a heavy emphasis, maybe you're six to 10 reps and the other day, Focus on more of like your hack squats, your leg extensions, lunges for closer to 15 reps. Um, are there different types of pre workouts? So if I train in the morning, what's the caffeinated one? Or if I train at night, what's not caffeinated? Yeah, so different types of pre workouts, absolutely. Um, you know, you can get a stem free pre workout, you can build your own pre workout. Um, and I, you know, I'll, I'll kind of switch up how much pre workout I do depending on when I train. If I train early in the morning compared to evening, obviously your body can handle a little more caffeine in the morning than it can in the evening if you still wanna be able to get a good night's sleep. Okay, last set, 10 reps, quads, glutes, everything's starting to feel silly pumped.
Lunges are done. Now we're going to start moving on to some more isolated movements into some exercises that are going to help bring in some of that detail. And the quads are feeling great. I mean, we got good pump going on. You start losing some definition in your quads sometimes as the workout goes on just because they get so pumped. But we have some good, good. Uh, well-rounded development occurring here due to this variety of exercises that we're doing. Next one's super fun. I'm excited about this. We'll do it right here. I'm gonna show you guys a goblet squat. We're gonna superset it with a sissy squat. Now this sissy squat that I do is maybe a little unconventional. There's several different ways to perform a sissy squat. And I'm gonna show you just one of those options as I do my goblet squat. So super set here, I believe we go three sets of 15 on a goblet squat, four sets of 15. Jeez, who comes up with these workouts? Super setted with a goblet squat for four sets of 15. So I'm gonna grab a weight that's uh, relatively light. Now remember, we got most of our heavy lifting out of the way, so now, we're gonna really try and focus on control and dialing in some of the details here. So we're gonna start 15 controlled reps, heels elevated on some plates here. Not all the way up, keep the tension on the quads. Toes pointed straight forward. Fifteen. Turn around. I'm gonna just grab onto here. It's give me a little extra support. Come down. Uh, whew. There's several ways that people perform sissy squats. I like this just assisted squat version. Toes pointing straight forward, feet fairly narrow, heels elevated. Great for a quad burn. And these quads are just, they're feeling toasted already, guys. It's a great, great workout for quads. I have a few questions. Where are your shorts from? The shorts. Um, so these are ZV. I'm like, we're looking for the logo. Where's it at? ZV are the shorts I like to train in. Good, just like lifestyle shorts, but to train in as well. But yeah, I mean, for leg day, guys, you gotta wear short shorts. Mandatory, long sleeve, short shorts, Converse. Yes. Give ourselves a little less rest, about 60 seconds now that we're getting lighter. At what range do you start wearing a belt in these things? So belt, I wear six reps or less. And um, do you need to? Uh, it's kind of questionable, but you'll notice the rest of the workout I train without one. I'm getting plenty of core activation. Knee sleeves, not necessary, but they do prevent injury by providing a little more warmth to that muscle, providing a little more circulation. So I'm gonna wear them. Guys, you pick them up for like 35, 40 bucks. So they provide just a little more security for these leg days. Okay, next set. Here we go. Good thing we got that pre-workout in today. This is a brutal one. Ah. Ah. Hey. Ah. 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 
Alright. Alright. Ah. 15. Just enough time to let the blood flow get back to your brain. On to failure. So, a lot of cardio. So, like I said, I track my heart rate while I train. I bet we're getting up there on these leg workouts. I'll probably burn more calories. So we're in mid 60s right now for our heart rate, uh, sitting at about 125 beats per minute. Cardio is in real good shape right now, just due to the fact that you know I just competed and I was doing a lot of cardio, but whew, still a grinder. What advice would I give to somebody whose friends and family don't understand the fitness lifestyle? The last thing you want to do is try to, you know, force it on them or try to make them understand it. I think the most important thing is if people that care about you know it's important to you, it'll matter to them. And, you know, when I first got into fitness, um, there were some relationships that really went south. And just because people, I found out who really supported me and who didn't it's a it's a unique lifestyle it's a different lifestyle don't force it on anybody don't make them understand it and remember you don't have to explain your reasoning for doing this to anybody this is you this is you know it's it's your goals it's your journey and those people that care about you they'll want to follow along okay third set we'll probably do three sets here instead of four i don't know why i put four on there Supersets are usually a little better with three sets. Seven is about all I can get on those. Whoo, man. So much rather be doing like arms right now. But we get done, we'll be glad we did it this way. Do you have any pre-workout uh, recommendations? Do I have any pre-workout recommendations? Guys, I use uh, Dimatize Pre-Wo. I like the Pineapple Orange Crush, that new flavor that they have. Um, most people are going to want to start with like a half a scoop of that, a half serving. It's a little more intense in terms of what it provides with the caffeine and things, but you know, a good pre-workout can play a significant role in your overall training when you get it right. So that's what I use. Do you have a favorite glute exercise? Favorite glute exercise. Yes. I like squats and I like lunges a lot, but I'm about ready to show you guys the uh, dumbbell RDL and we're going to superset it with a feet elevated glute bridge here, which is going to be a lot of fun for building some glutes. Whew. I think it would work better with a bench, but um, we'll try it on here first. So I'm going to go 60 pounds, fairly light again here, but we're trying to focus on control. So a lot of times I'll break leg day up into a heavy day and a light day. You know, the point of today's workout is to show you guys what it would look like if you just did one leg day a week. You know, how, how could you train to really hit those fast and those slower twitch muscle fibers all in the same workout? Whew. So we will do um, 15 here on some stiff legged or Romanian deadlifts, technically it's a Romanian deadlift. And then we're gonna superset that with 15 reps or just failure actually on a glute bridge. Now remember, now it gets super important 
that we start paying attention to the amount of uh, time we spend on each rep, so your time under tension. And we got a bench over here that we will use, and I prefer a bench to do these glute bridges on. So we will start off with the dumbbell Romanian deadlift, and then we'll scoot onto that. Here we go. Ah. So right into glute bridge, feet elevated to help toast hamstrings and glutes here. Squeeze at the top. And then lay here, take a nap. That is a great superset, especially for you ladies that are watching that want to know how to build those glutes of steel. But I mean, come on guys, we want glutes of steel too. It's a good superset right there. And you'll notice on those, I'm going really controlled. I'm not coming up to the top and resting for three seconds before I go back down. Keep the time under tension here. How much cardio is too much cardio before you start to lose muscle? It really depends on the person, guys. Um, for most people, I'm not gonna ever recommend more than an hour a day, you know? And ideally that's broken up into two sessions of like 30 and 30. When your diet's right, there's just no point. And what happens, you start doing too much cardio, you condition your body to, to hold on to fat and you condition your body just to, you know, stop utilizing those carbohydrates properly, and it's a bad combination. Are you using a specific plan for this workout, or do you have any recommendations? Uh, no specific plan for this workout. Guys, I just like to give you a variety of exercises to get the most and to give you guys the most. Um, I do have a great leg workout on bodybuilding.com. See if we can throw a link up in the chat there, but uh, that's a plan that's very, similar to what I would do on a pretty frequent basis. All right, guys, we're gonna move into our second set now. Glutes are on fire, hamstrings are feeling it. Lower back's definitely getting some work too. All good things. Headband actually comes in handy on a leg day. It's actually collecting some perspiration here. Down we go, right into the glute bridge. Squeeze the glute, every rep. Trying not to over round our lower back. The force is coming through the glutes, not that forced lordosis. So I like to put my hands on my glutes, make sure they're contracting the way they should. Uh, what is bodybuilding.com going to add to your headband? Sure. <laughs> what is bodybuilding.com going to add the headband to the store? 
hopefully soon, I'm waiting, I presented an option to them to, uh, you know, in exchange for a share of the company, of course, put my headband on there. They yet to get back to me, so we'll see. Yes, the headband of gains, crucial. I recommend it for leg day. What happens when you eat more carbs than protein? What happens when you eat more carbs than protein? You feel good. It's in my opinion. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with eating any more carbs than protein as long as you're protein sufficient. As a matter of fact, most people should eat more carbs than protein. Like unless you're in a real strict, you know, fat loss phase, calorie deficit, the majority of time, you should be getting most of your calories from protein or from carbohydrates. Uh, YouTube, I have problems developing, developing my calves. Do you have any tips? Problems developing your calves. You know, calves are primarily genetic. I hate to say it, but you know, either you have them or you don't for most people. But if you struggle with it, hit them four or five times a week with a lot of volume. Calves need a lot of volume. Don't train them heavy. 20 to 25 reps on calves, very controlled reps. Mistakes I see people doing is going too heavy for like eight to 10 reps on calves. They just don't respond well to that. Uh, does squatting stunt your growth? Does squatting stunt your growth only temporarily during that workout? And then you lengthen back out. Depends on how heavy you squat. No, in all seriousness, it does not. It does not stunt your growth. Okay, last set, 15 reps, and then glute bridge. Onto the glute bridge. This is getting tough, guys. This is getting tough. Uh, squeeze. You got to contract. It's not about weight here. It's not about how fast you go. You want to slow it down. Drive the hips. Those glute bridges, not just for the ladies, fellas. Uh, eight. Ah. Whew. feeling all right make sure you guys stay hydrated during leg day you lose a lot of water a lot more than you would on any other workout so make sure you've got plenty of fluid coming in so next on we're going to move up to leg extensions for four sets of 20 and uh, we're really going to try and get these quads on fire so we'll head over here four sets of 20 all about dialing in that quad detail. Legs are getting a little wobbly. It's all normal for this point of the workout. Whew. So for leg extensions, another exercise that I see a lot of people just going too heavy on, guys. And, um, you know, there's some exercises where you want to push it in terms of how heavy you're going, like a, you know, like a squat, but leg extension is just not an exercise that you want to go super, super heavy on. So we're going to pick 115 pounds and see if we can get 20 good reps out here. Oh. Is that bad if they're already burning before I start? Too bad that camera wasn't closer because these quads, they are lit right now. Is that what kids are saying nowadays? Lit? Yeah. Oh, whoo, ouch, 
so much blood flow into the quads right now. Legs are feeling awesome. We're gonna lighten up the weight, make sure we can keep control for our next three sets. The right leg position for the leg extension. So it's got this, you'll notice it's got this, um, what am I thinking, pivot point right here. And that you want to come right across your kneecap. So if your knees are ahead of the pivot point, you need to move the seat back. If your knees are behind the pivot point, you need to move forward. But most of all, I mean, you'll feel it. If it feels awkward, change it. Whew. These guys are great, great finishers. Some people start with leg extensions. Personally, I like to use it. It's just a good old finisher. Shorter rest periods, keep the blood flow, the volume. Guys, make sure you follow along on my Instagram too, at TrainerMike1, because I'm gonna post up a nasty Swolfie after this of the legs, and I need you guys' comments. Like, I want people to get on there and be like, do you even leg day, bro? And uh, so please follow along, TrainerMike1 on Instagram. Comment on the leg selfie that's going down after this. <sighs> Oh, fell a little short of our reps there. It's okay, I'm not gonna get wild and start humping out every last rep. We want quality reps. Can egg whites replace whey protein is the question. Um, I would say they don't replace it. It's an okay alternative, but the benefits of whey protein isolate is just how quickly it digests. Now, egg whites are gonna digest pretty quickly, but the overall convenience factor for one, and then just how quickly a whey isolate will digest for two, I give whey isolate the uh, thumbs up over egg whites for like, a, especially for like a post-workout. Should you do soccer after a leg day? Occasionally I do. Um, just make sure you're, you got a lot of food coming in, you know, get some protein coming in, make sure you got a gram per pound, plenty of carbohydrates too. Okay. Set three, 20 reps. burning out quick towards the end of the workout. Each one of these sets, I keep dropping the weight down. I've only got 70 pounds on there. But remember, when you've done all the right exercises beforehand, your squats, your lunges, all your compound movements, your goblet squats, all we're really trying to do here is polish off these last few reps. So I always take my knee sleeves off at the end. I don't need them anymore. And they hinder me looking at my quads. So. They come off. What are my thoughts on riding the bike for leg development? I love the bike, like spin bike especially. You know, one of my favorite forms of cardio are high intensity intervals on a spin bike for leg development. Great option, so. All right, one more set here, 20 reps, and then we're gonna finish off with some calves, and we are out. Here we go. Ah, ah, three, four, ah, 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 eh, ah, 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 eh, ah, 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 couldn't even get there for 20 with that lightweight. These legs are done for, 
but not the calves. Still got the calves. So we're gonna head over here, do standing calf raise on the Smith machine actually. We'll go four sets of 20, super lightweight, really controlled, really focused. If you'll remember earlier on in the, the workout, I was talking about how important it is for calf development to focus on a lightweight, really controlled reps. Calves respond better to higher reps too um, than they do to lower reps. Is taking a fish oil supplement along with four to five servings of fatty fish per week too much? It's not too much. I, there's no downside to it, but there's probably no upside either, okay? So the way that I always look at it is if you're eating two to three servings of fatty fish per week, I'm talking good fish, guys. I'm not talking like the crap you eat out of a can. I'm talking, you know, salmon, steelhead, wild caught fish. Um, if you're eating two to three servings per week, you're fine. You don't really need a fish oil supplement, but I would say 98% of people don't do that. So I always just have a fish oil supplement. If I go out to sushi or something, maybe I don't take it for a couple days. Okay, 20 reps. Good stretch, good contraction. Not focused on going crazy heavy here. What three key leg exercises would you recommend for a beginner? If I had three exercises and only three leg exercises to recommend for a beginner, it would be squats, be Romanian deadlifts, and it would be lunges. Those three would be enough to develop a really solid foundation for legs. Uh, new viewers want to know what you're drinking. What I'm drinking, I got two scoops of Dimatize Amino Pro Fruit Punch, um, non-caffeinated version because we did a lot of caffeine in our pre-workout. So Amino Pro Fruit Punch, two scoops. Give me 10 grams of amino acid, a little citrulline, um, a little bit of electrolytes in there as well. Important thing on leg day is hydration. So anything that gets you to drink more fluids because you lose so much more fluid on a leg day. Okay, 20 more. Make sure you stretch afterwards too. Good static stretching, quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calves after the workout. We usually don't film that stuff because it's boring, but it's important. Good post-workout. Do your static stretching where you hold, stretch and hold, post-workout. Always after your workout, never before. Before is active dynamic warm-ups only and foam rolling. I don't take anything else in your workout besides Amino Pro. There's no point. You know, a lot of people think like carbohydrate supplements are super helpful. Unless you're training for more than 90 minutes, you're not going to deplete your glycogen enough to verify or justify uh, intra workout carbohydrate. So I don't. Uh, do you vary your calf training very much? Do I vary my calf training? Not a lot, guys. I mean, my calves have always been pretty well developed. It's been a stronger point for me. So I don't spend a ton of time on them, but I will say this, once per week I hit a straight leg calf raise, once per week I hit a bent leg calf raise, like a seated calf raise, and there is a difference in that. Does foot position matter? Does foot position matter? Not as much as people think. It really, the calves don't really care whether your toes are pointing in or out or straight forward. So I just pretty much go straight forward. Okay, third set, 20 reps, let's go.
Ah. Whew. We are feeling the burn on these guys. Good way to finish off. What's, gonna, uh, what's your favorite cheat meal? My favorite cheat meal is burger and fries all day long. Not just any burger and fries, though. Very specific with how I like my burgers. I always like a fried egg on top. So, well, sunny side up. Sunny side up egg and bacon are absolute must. And blue cheese, always like that as well. And I don't go for crap burgers either, guys. I don't do those thin little patties or anything. I like a good like bison or ground chuck um, as m for my burgers. Thick, medium rare, never anymore. Mike, what do you think about a full body workout three times a week? Full body workout three times a week is great. If, you've, if you're only training three times per week, there's really no other kind of workout you should be doing than full body. You get a lot of development out of a good full body workout three times per week. Okay, last set, 20 reps. guys that's a wrap on leg day make sure you guys follow along on his instagram at trainer mike one that's where i do most of my stuff instagram trainer mike number one i'm about ready to post up a leg day pick i'd love it if you guys went on there and gave me feedback on it you know give me crap hey why don't you train legs your leg workout sucked come on chicken legs come on twigs stuff like that i love that stuff um, also find me on facebook my athlete page at trainer mike physique or you can just search for michael hildebrandt check out my personal page there um, on Body Space at Mr. Symmetry. Appreciate you guys tuning in for another Flex Friday leg day. Boom!